The World Humanitarian Summit of the UN kicked off in Istanbul, the Turkish capital. The UN Secretary General and more than 60 world leaders as well as some humanitarian organizations come together for two days to discuss ways to encounter world crisis and improve the humanitarian assistance. In this regard, Imam Shuazi World Foundation released a statement and urged all world leaders at this summit to solve the conflict in the Middle East with peaceful methods. In its statement, ISWF considered it a responsibility of the world leaders to provide security and protect the individual and social rights of people against terrorism. It also added that the terrorist movements and the brutal killings in some Middle Eastern countries is the outcome of shortcomings by some governments involved. Let's watch this report. In a letter addressing the World Humanitarian Summit in Turkey, Imam Shirazi World Foundation calls the world leaders to find practical solutions for the crisis in the Middle East. In a prophetic statement, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, says, You are all guardians, and every one of you is responsible for his people. As the beginning of the World Humanitarian Summit draws closer, Imam Shirazi World Foundation seizes the opportunity to call on the world leaders to develop effective solutions for the critical situations experienced by many countries in the Middle East and ask the world leaders to fulfill their mutual legal, moral and humanitarian responsibility towards all other members of the international community. The participants in the summit must realize that the humanitarian repercussions of violence and wars have endangered the lives of hundreds of millions of the people in the Middle East. Dear gentlemen, now it's time to put aside your differences, hidden agenda, and long-term feuds and realize the fact that these differences are endangering the whole world by creating terrorism, violence and incurring grand damages and losers. Moreover, such acts of terrorism are not limited to one country or land. Rather, the threats threaten in every nation in the world. These crimes have reached the center of Europe, America and many other communities near or far from Middle East. Dear gentlemen and leaders of the world, the plight experience by the people in Syria, Iraq, Lebanon, Egypt, Libya, and other neighboring countries call for deep contemplation over the crimes of a terrorist. However, you need to work united to root out their foundation and drain their financial sources. Moreover, in order to end the suffering of the people in the Middle East and create safety and stability in these war-striking countries, you need to support them economically, for this, in turn, will have a positive effect on the stability of your countries as well. Imam Shuazi Wall Foundation Washington, D.C.